Good day my friends, this is your Easy Engineering once again. We are going to discuss today an interesting topic which is the thermodynamic equilibrium. Before we simplify and explain what happens on this topic, let us first understand this definition, thermodynamic equilibrium. Thermodynamic equilibrium is a state of system in which it is in chemical, mechanical, and thermal equilibrium. So it means that we can only say that a system is in thermodynamic equilibrium if it meets the three requirements. It must be in chemical, mechanical, and thermal equilibrium. Now let's discuss these three requirements one by one and see what happens in each of it. Let's go to the first one, chemical equilibrium. For a system to be in chemical, equilibrium there must be no chemical reaction happening within the system and its chemical composition stays the same chemical reaction happens when atoms of certain substances combine to form different substances chemical composition also means that the chemical formula will not be changed so now let's move to the other one the mechanical e equilibrium when a system is in mechanical equilibrium it means that there are no unbalanced forces within the system force is the same within all points of the system and there must also no unbalanced forces between the system and surroundings and finally the last requirement that we need is the thermal equilibrium by the word thermal which relates to heat or temperature this means that there is no heat transfer between system and surroundings Temperature of your system and the surroundings is the same. Secondly, temperature at all points of system must not change. All points must have the same value, which tells us that no heat transfer or no heat flow is happening within the system. So now the question is, what happens on a system that is in thermodynamic equilibrium? Mm -hmm. Actually, the answer is nothing happens. Since there is no movement, no change of shape, no chemical reaction, no process, no force flow, and no temperature flow. But we must not forget that a system can only be in thermodynamic equilibrium if the requirements are met. It must be in chemical, mechanical, and thermal equilibrium. So that's it. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.